Okay, hey, Marcus Conti reporting on the Jew bill. <laughs> the Jew bill. The Arab bill. Put on my put on my Arab garb for the Arab Jew bill report. Uh, so here's uh so here's where the Jew Jew haters can can sink their teeth into the I hate their fucking Jews, the Jews, the fucking Jews. Hey, fucking everybody hates the Jews, right? Do you hate the Jews? So there's this bill, right? This controversial anti anti BDS bill. This is heavy stuff, man. This is um, all kidding aside. Uh, this is this infringes on right off the top infringes on our First Amendment rights. Needs our immediate attention and our immediate uh, focus. So, what is this thing? You've, you've seen it. Uh, the BDS uh, movement is one thing, but the anti BDS bill that's now moving its snakish way through our Senate is uh, something to talk about. U.S. Senate advances controversial anti-BDS legislation that includes measures at home that take aim at boycotts of Israel and, of course, free money <clears throat> to Israel uh, and Jordan. Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple of parts of the bill, and one of them is... Uh, it's always money for Israel, but that's that's not the that's not the they're gonna still get their forty billion dollars a year in U.S. aid. But uh, so who's the author of this piece of crap? Uh, ah, Senator Marco Rubio, little Marco, little Marco, Mister Democrat, Mister Democracy, hey, right? Mister fucking save the world with democracy, and and uh, he's he's promoting a bill that uh, steps on our First Amendment right. How dare you, little Marco? Where's Trump now? BDS. Let's look. Let's look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you the whole history. When you just watch the whole thing, right? Watch the whole fucking video, right? Stop cutting off in the middle. Watch the whole thing, man, and you'll know what BDS is, dude. All right. So BDS stands for Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions. <clears throat> BDS, Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called it bigotry, dishonesty, and shame. That's a nice twist. I like that. He gets, uh, he gets an A for, uh, for, for creativity. The law would allow U.S. states and localities to retaliate commercially against companies or individuals that support BDS. What? What a bill that makes that that makes retaliation against anti-Israel speech illegal? What passing into the Senate? Are you fucking crazy? For example, like selling a uh, a, a selling like if I had a BDS T-shirt on, right? right? If I had a shirt that said BDS, right? I could probably wear it, but. If I worked in a corporation, like if I showed up to work at Starbucks with a BDS shirt, I would get my ass kicked out. It would become illegal. Or if I sold BDS shirts online on eBay, that's illegal. That's ridiculous. That's a violation, straight up impingement of the First Amendment. No doubt about it. Free speech. So let's look at Israel. That's the, the root of the problem. The, the essence of the problem is Israel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I look like I have no arms. My, I got arms. Here's my arms. <laughs> so, um, oh, damn, I feel like singing some Arab music, man. <laughs> Go down to Mecca. 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 I got a lot of, there's a lot of Arabs in my neighborhood, man. They're, they're cool people. They're hard workers. So, so, so Jews. Let's talk about Jews in Israel. Uh, fucking Israel. So, this is Israel. If you haven't found, if you haven't found uh, known, right? So you got look. Israel's a big place, right? You it's surrounded. It's in a bad neighborhood. They got Egypt on one side. They got Jordan on the other side. They fucking nobody likes them, right? Syria, uh, and in that that big chunk right there, you see the uh, what looks like like red orange, right? The darker colors. That's the West Bank, the big chunk, right? The big chunk right there. And then further over here, that's the little Gaza Strip. That's where most of the noise about anti anti uh, uh palestinians uh evolve right this is apartheid right? that's what it is it's straight up there's walls around gaza there's walls around the west bank and then there's this other little piece up here right by syria I, I don't know much about that but let's just talk about west bank and gaza right so israel's a big place tel aviv is off off towards the water over here so it's over here 
All right, so so that's so that's Israel, right? It's fucking. It's it's. Let's look at the demographic. All right, population of Israel: eight hundred uh, eight million eight hundred thousand five fifty five. So there's almost nine million people in Israel, making all well, that's two thousand eighteen numbers. You want to check? Hey Google, what's the demographic of Israel? On the website worldpopulationreview.com, they say. The most recent demographics of Israel, taken on Israel's Independence Day in 2013, found 75% of the population is Jewish, while Arabs account for 21% of the population. Yeah, that, that's 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 uh, consistent. I got 74.5% Jew, 20.9% Arab. Right, so the Arabs, you're talking about 20% of a country. Right, that's who's that's who the Jews want to get rid of. Right, building walls around them to to keep them out. Right, so. So this bill, uh, it's a Senate bill. Right? It starts in the Senate. It was drafted by Rubio, Lil Marco. Even if it passes uh, in the Senate, it would still have to have House approval. It doesn't look like it, it will. Right? I don't know. But Trump uh, would sign this because he's a, he's a Mr. Israel guy. Trump would, if it gets to Trump's desk, it's, it's law. And then it's going to become illegal to speak out against Israel. Fucking crazy. The legislation includes provisions to impose new sanctions on Syria and guarantee money assistance to Israel and Jordan. Uh, it's twofold. $40 billion or more per year. That's $40 billion to build their wall. What about your wall, your $5 billion wall? Fuck you, U.S. You can't have your wall, man. We must defend, our every, we must defend every American's constitutional right to engage in political activity. It is clear to me that this bill would violate American f Americans' First Amendment rights, said Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie Sanders in front of the curve. The BDS movement was launched in 2005 by Palestinians seeking to generate international pressure on Israel to respect Palestinian human rights. <laughs> yeah, right? It's still, look, this... To me, Israel is a no-brainer. There's, 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 it, it, Israelis, the Jews came in in the 1940s or so. They, the, the, the Palestinians have been living in the country for thousands of years before Christ. Right? They've been there forever, right? And now the Jews come in and say, oh, it's, uh, we want to push you out and uh, take your land. And now, and without even offering them citizenship, without offering them anything, building fences around them and keeping them in, and then, they, of course, the pressure builds up, and they start to, they start throwing bombs at each other. Uh, it's, it's straightforward. Proponents say the effort draws from the the BDS movement. I'm talking about. Um, proponents say the effort draws from the anti-apartheid campaign in South Africa in 1980s and early uh, African American civil rights of 1950s and 60s. Yeah, all right, it does. There's there's a Definitely a, um, a correlation. Israel says BDS is a tr strategic threat and accuses it of anti-Semitism and racism. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fucking Israel, right? Jew, Jew hater, anti-Semitist, they're fucking racist. The Jew, Jew hater, they fucking hate the Jew. They hate the Jew. Right? That's their defense. Rather than look at the fact that you're, 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 you're oppressing a people that were, were there before you, right? They're not willing to negotiate. Right? BDS was designed to pressure Israel to end its occupation of Palestinian territories, as well as grant, grant full citizenship rights to Palestinians in Israel and ensure Palestinian refugees' right of return to homes that they and their families were expelled from to make way for the formation of the State of Israel in 1948. That's what I said before, right? So what do they want? They want citizenship. They want... They, they want to stop being, you know, cornered and, and walled in. And they want their, their people that got kicked out in 99, uh, before or around 1948 to be allowed back in. Representative Rashada Tlaib. <laughs> I can't pronounce her name. That's the lady that, that said Trump, we're going to impeach the motherfucker. Remember she said that? She's a Michigan Democrat and Palestinian American who supports the BDS movement. Now, you might have to kiss a little liberal ass on this one because they're right. Fucking, they're right. Uh, BDS movement condemned the bill saying, this is the U.S., this is the U.S., where boycotting is a right and a part of our historical fight for freedom and equality. Damn right. 
damn fucking right, no doubt about it. The American Civil Liberties Union said the anti-BDS measures send a message to Americans that they will be penalized if they dare to discuss their government. That's a little harsh, but yeah, that's, that is the truth. You're not allowed to, uh, you know, it's an absolute, no, there is no other policy. There's no precedence for making speech about, speech and commerce about a anti-other government stands illegal. There's no precedence in the country, and it wouldn't stop there, because then you could say, well, anybody who speaks out against Venezuela is also, make it illegal. Anybody who speaks out against Syria, illegal. Anybody who speaks out against the, the European Union, the, you know, Brexit, illegal. It wouldn't stop there. The idea that something like this, the jack-off Marco Rubio would even suggest it, and it could get this kind of steam on the Senate floor is scary, really. Uh, let's see what else there is government. Okay, so BDS movement seeks to end the occupation and dismantle Israelis illegal walls and settlements demand full equality for Palestinian citizens of Israel and calls for the rights of Palestinian refugees to be upheld. Okay, so it is that's the issue in Israel, but the issue at home is making a bill to make talking about it and discussing it and, and engaging in commerce illegal. Uh, can't do it. I got to stop that bill. That's a that you got to kill that. Got to kill it. BDS targets institutions on the grounds of human rights violations and ex, oh that's that's the BDS. They okay, so the anti-BDS is trying to stop the BDS movement. It's all BS, right? But you got to look, it's it's confusing on purpose. They confuse the, the lingo on purpose to make you not know what the hell they're talking about, right? But now that you've watched this video, you're already 10 minutes in, you know what the fuck you're talking about, right? So BDS targets institutions on the grounds of human rights violations and explicitly opposes all forms of racism. It seeks to end Israel's entrenched system of racial discrimination and ethnic privilege. That's what it is, right? Israel's Israeli embassies, many of which have dedicated anti-BDS staff they employ people just to fucking attack this bill, attack these this uh, BDS movement. Work closely with Israeli lobby groups behind the scenes. Wealthy supporters of Israel, such as Sheldon Adelson in the U.S. and Trevor Pears in the U.K., have pumped large sums of money into anti-boycott initiatives. Right? They don't want this shit. They they're trying to they're trying to squash it. BDS continues to grow rapidly. Legal experts and the European Union have defended the right to boycott as free speech issue. Right? And several pro-Israel cases, for example, in the UK, where attempts, where attempts to suppress BDS have failed. So Europe is, England's ahead of us. Right, here's the other thing. Right? Now let's, let's talk about Israel for a second. Right? Is Israel a, a place for all the rich people, the billionaire Jews to run when the United States crumbles when the when the economy crashes, when the markets crash, and and civil unrest breaks out because they screw the fucking people, is it is it really Israel? Is really is Israel a billionaire sanctuary? Because I know people like to float that idea, that that Israel is running everything, and that in the end everyone will run back to Israel and be safe. Right? They have nuclear weapons. They have bombs. I don't know about that. I, I don't. I don't know about any of that. But it is. If you have your opinions of it, you know, drop it down below and fucking talk about it. And talk about that shit. But this this bill is a uh, is a vampire in my uh, view. You've got to stop it. it. It infringes on the First Amendment, our rights to free speech, freedom of the press, freedom to assemble. And when you start putting, when you start making laws that. Um, that uh, impinge on, on that First Amendment. We have a serious problem in this country. We already have problems, but that's a big one. Right. So uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly uh, think about becoming a Patreon to this channel as we move forward into the, into the new millennial <laughs> millennium. Right. Become a Patreon. Come on, do the right thing, man. You fuck guys, come here, man. You just take, 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 right? I'm the, I'm the fucking the, the leader of the yellow vests in America. I'm the I'm the I'm the guy who told you who Caesar Syac was. I told you about the the borderline sh shooting, the false flags. Oh, come on, man! Fucking splurge a little bit, man. 
Become a Patreon. It's, it's, it's the right thing to do, man. A dollar a month. Fucking cheap guys, man. You come here, you listen to my music, and you don't throw a dollar in the fucking bucket. To the 25 or 30 people that have, and, and thank you very much to the people that have. I'm only kidding. You know, the people that have given via PayPal are, are wonderful, man. You're keeping, this, you're keeping it going, right? Like I said, this is all I do right now. This is, this is all I got. I'm not a fucking little fe- hedge fund fucking guy. People accuse me of being. <laughs> it's funny, man. In my position, man, when I do that, when you do something like this, people think you're a fucking spy. They think you're a, 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 a what else? A hedge fund guy or a, 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 sh- a shill or a, um, what's the big one? There's another one in there. Fucking, I don't know. Like I get accused of everything, man. I'm just a guy. Like fucking, I was a whistleblower. I got, I blew a whistle and I got fired, and now here I am. You know, I'm fucking trying to, still trying to save the world, man. Marcus Conti reporting.